Welcome to Art with me, Katie Cordy. Today I'm going to teach you a bit about heraldry, emblems, and symbols. Historically, it is not unusual for societies to have specific symbols that represent their country, their beliefs, and their families. For instance, you're probably familiar with the American flag and the bald eagle, two of the United States' most popular symbols. Countries have been creating representative symbols since ancient Egypt. Before flags were invented, many countries used standards. Originally, this was a pole topped with a flag-like piece of material, or in the case of ancient, the ancient Roman army, an eagle. These standards allowed troops to tell friend from foe in battle. During the high medieval ages, from roughly 1000 to 1250 CE, heraldry became incredibly popular with the aristocrats. These nobles began designing family crests or coats of arms that were a collection of symbols that represented their bloodline and rank. It is often believed that heralds were created as a way to differentiate families during battle, but historians are unsure for the exact reason for creation. These coats of arms were incredibly complex and filled with symbolism. To simplify, a coat of arms was typically made up of a shield surrounded by two supports, such as lions, on either side. The shield was decorated with the symbols, patterns, and colors of the family. The shield was topped with a helmet with a crest or symbol, such as a deer head, over the helmet. Mantles, flowery or feathery designs, were placed around the top and the bottom of the shield. Lastly, every coat of arm had a motto placed at the bottom that represented the family. For instance, Queen Elizabeth II's family motto is God and my right. There have been many other forms of heraldry over the course of history. Other examples of heraldry include the Japanese mon, or family fabric patterns, tartan, plaid patterns typically associated with the Scottish, or tamga, seals and stamps used by the nomadic Eurasian peoples, such as the Mongols. Whether you already have a traditional coat of arms, or if you decide to adopt and create your own, heraldry can represent what means most to your family.